Talking about police and proportionality, Deputy Prime Minister, the activities of the Metropolitan Police this week with the G8 protests in central London that, in some instances, with some of the protests got a little bit out of hand. How do you equate the police response to that? Well, I support the police, actually, in, in, um, in what I understood they, they were up against because, um, it, 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 you know, I'm, I'm a Liberal. I want to defend everybody's right to, to demonstrate, to make their views known. S- some would say they weren't allowed to demonstrate. The police would say, well, if you'd come to us in advance and worked out a plan, we would have worked with you. So we're in yeah, the middle of that I, round. I, 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 got, I, I get the impression uh, that a lot of these protesters didn't want to talk to the police. In fact, many of them didn't even want to explain to the public why they were protesting or what their, what their views were. And... And, you know, you, you've you got to, again, balance the rights of protesters to protest with the rights of everybody else to go about their law-abiding business, for businesses in central London to be able to continue to work a full working day. And and I think it's, you know, I think it's right that the police say, look, come and talk to us um, first. Don't just create mass disruption across the whole of uh, of central London. So I, I, I have to say, I felt on this instance, the, the protesters didn't do, they didn't do their own cause very much. Anymore. I was none the wiser by the end of the day what they were actually protesting for other than a, a sort of general kind of dislike of the world as we know it but but you know I, th- I think if they want to make a point they not only need to perhaps demonstrate in a way where they give the police a bit of fair warning but also explain to us exactly what it is that they want changed